Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty and I got my Raw Beauty Christy palette in. I did not purchase the whole collection from ColourPop, but I did get the eyeshadow palette. How beautiful is this? I really love her aesthetic and where she got her inspiration. So if you haven't watched her video, you definitely should. I'm sure everybody watches her. She's one of my favorite people. Um, she's having like the best year <laughs> compared to everybody else. Um, just super happy for her. She's somebody that I actually admire in the beauty community on YouTube. She's someone that I watch consistently. Um, I feel that she is very genuine. Um, anyway, just go watch her videos. It's really exciting. So I got the eyeshadow palette and I also got the clear lip gloss. Well, it's clear-ish. It's a glittery, um, it's a glittery one. So I wanted to do an eyeshadow look today and just kind of talk about you know, the formula a little bit. I'm not somebody who does like a very deep review and talks about grams and all of that stuff. I'm just gonna tell you how it works on my skin. I'm 39, I have oily skin, um, nothing really stays on my eyes. I tend to love the ColourPop shadows in general. Um, they're soft, um, you know, sometimes they kick up some powder, but I mean, for the price, they're really um, high quality shadows. So this one, um, I think Jen Loves, uh, she was Jen Loves Reviews, she's now Jen Loves. She described this as like a rainforest or like a fort, not a rainforest, like a Seattle or a Washington rainbow, something like that. So it's just a deeper version of a rainbow, which is nice to see. Um, I think a lot of people are putting out um, more bright palettes in general, especially on collabs. So this was nice to see um, just something a little different. Um, and it's not that I don't have these colors. For the most part, I thought the palette was beautiful. Like it did draw me in, the packaging especially drew me in um, because I love being out in nature. However, the biggest reason I purchased this was just to support her um, because I'm just really excited. And I, I, there is another collab palette that I've wanted, which is the, um, the gem, the jade, um, anyway, I'll put it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's with, it's another YouTuber collab and she collabs all the time. Um, she's huge and everybody knows about her. So, <laughs> um, I still have that on my list cause I, those colors actually are, I'm drawn to a little bit more, even though the palettes are a little similar. So I'll put maybe a comparison up here. Um, anyway, I just can't think of words. So <laughs> We're gonna start with eyes and just play around. Um, and whatever I cannot think of in my mind and come out in my words will be up here on the screen. So let's zoom in here. Ooh. All right, hopefully, so I'm using a higher chair. I sold the chair I've been using. Um, so the camera is a little harder to adjust at this point. Hopefully that's bright enough. All right, I, I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone. So I would typically use the greens because green is really my favorite color to put on my eyes when it comes to color. Um, so I'm gonna play with the warmer tones. The, there's a like a mauve dusty color called Old Growth. Um, and I'm gonna start with that in my crease. Um, and I really shouldn't be using this big of a brush because my crease is so small, um, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I gotta use the brushes that are clean. So I'm just going to, I've already used my Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer and I've been using it a little bit on myself. Well, not a little bit, but I use it multiple times when I do shadow. That's been my go-to base and it really works for my skin. Again, I'm very oily. Okay, so this is working like a typical ColourPop shadow. It's gorgeous. You can build it up. It's There's a lot of pigment there. This is kind of similar to the redness in my eyes, so it might be hard to see the color. Um, and my my eyes get a lot of redness because I use a lash serum, Lash Boost by Rodan and Fields. Um, oh, yeah, this is a really beautiful color. Very warm. And I do like that this palette has mostly mattes. Um, because I think we all have enough shimmers to kind of pack on there. Um, she did come out with some sh super shock shadows, but they were all very thinly veiled toppers, which I think is beautiful, but I have a lot of those, so there wasn't like a draw for me to purchase that. Um, the liners did look really beautiful, so I might go back and get those later, but. Um, so there are only two shimmers in here, um, and I'm probably gonna play with the gold one, even though that's not what I'm drawn to. 
but I'm sticking with those warm tones. So um, I'm gonna go, gosh, I just really love that. I love a mustard. But I think I'm gonna stick to like this quad right here and then maybe top it with a gold, not sure. We'll see, maybe just on the inner corner. <sighs> okay, pro tip, don't blow on your eyeshadow palette if you're gonna use it on somebody else. <laughs> All right, so let's go in with Rainier, which is a very warm, rusty color. Like these colors look great on blue eyes, but I just feel like, and I've talked about this in other videos, it's kind of hard for me to wear these because my skin tone. So I feel like sometimes I look a little sick. So I do need to, you know, just be careful. And I think that's why I'm gonna use kind of that darker smoky tones there. So I'm putting this on the outer third and I do have a hooded lid, a small eye, and floppy skin so I'm not I, I will never do a typical um, eyeshadow look that you might see because I just it, it's pointless it's pointless to work so hard and to not see any of it so you can see how the warmth really brings out the blue these are really beautiful shadows I mean it's not um, anything um, super different when it comes to color. It's not anything super different when it comes to color pop shadows. I feel like, and it might be a different formula, but for me it feels very similar. Um, definitely feels very similar to the other color pop shadows. Just really easy to work with, easy to blend. So that's really nice. And so what I did was I used the shadow um, and brush, well, the brush that I used first to buff into the crease, I used whatever was left on that to kind of buff in that second color. All right, so now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and get in here on, I wanna do the purpley one. Uh, Amanita, 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 whatever. We're gonna do a smaller brush, right, to kind of pinpoint, um, since I have such a hooded lid, you don't wanna use too big of a brush. And then, um, you know, get it onto the whole eye, because a bigger, fluffier brush kind of takes up my whole eyelid. So I'm putting this right on the, the corner there, my little V, you know. And then I'm gonna go back and take that original brush and just fluff it out a little bit. And you do have to be careful because the bigger the brush, the further that shadow will go. But I'm not um, taking it too far. I'm just kind of making little circles on top of where I've already put the color. So I'm not like dragging it anywhere. So that's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I do love a grungy look. Again, it's not that I don't like these colors. It's just, um, it's just so hard on my skin tone. I don't want to look, you know, uh, too sickly. All right, so I'm just repeating this on the other eye. Yeah, this is a super beautiful color. I love that purple. And I think that there's a lot of different looks you can get from this palette. I mean, again, it's basically a rainbow, just more jewel tone. So you can really do so much with that. All right, and then I'm gonna take the same brush and go into Homegrown, which is just a tad bit darker and a little bit more brown. And I'm gonna do this right on that tip. See if we can just, I'm probably gonna build these back and forth until I get that, maybe pull it in a little bit. I don't wanna go too smoky. Okay, so I went back and forth quite a bit and buffed in, um, played with these four colors right here. I only tapped into this one once um, so that I could kind of lean more on the purple side. All right, I think I'm going to tap into that gold right in the center. I'm scared. I mean, the pigment is always gonna be amazing. I just get scared of like this really yellow gold. All right, and then I'm gonna go back into that and buff that in a little bit. So 
I'm gonna go back and build up that corner again because I didn't want to cover up too much of that. And then kind of tap through with my finger, make sure there's no harsh edges there. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then we will put on the lip gloss. Okay guys, so I completed my face. I used a little bit of my typical CoverGirl champagne single shadow in the inner corner. Um, I used my e.l.f. powder, thanks to my aunt for sending me a bunch more of these. Um, just to dust everywhere and then my base is or foundation is really just spot treating with the elf um, Camo concealer and then my blush is warm soul by Mac Let me open that up To kind of go with our warmer tone shadow, so I did stick with these four here I topped with a little bit of gold and then what I did for liner is I used a like a navy, a very dark, like navy black liner on the top. And then I used a mix of homegrown and then this one, let it rain, to top over that pencil um, so that it stayed a little bit warmer, um, but still gave me some depth. And then on the bottom lash line, I didn't do any typical liner. I did a mix of let it rain and um, Amanita, Amanita. Okay, so I wanted to try the lip gloss. Um, I feel like I need some color on my lips, but I also feel like some of that is just, um, like when you get powder. All right, so this is the color Glacier. And I really do like these kind of lip glosses, just hard to wear in a mask. Um, but I'm kind of excited that I did like a a uh, bolder eye today because I'm going out with my sister, we're gonna hang out, and so this way I can um, let my eyes um, be the focus there um, since I'm not really trying like a liquid lipstick or anything. So I posted some pictures of this on my Instagram. Maybe I'll repost those, I don't know. It's just a typical shiny gloss it's kind of oily kind of sticky kind of moisturizing smells good um i don't know i don't really i'm not super picky about glosses but to me this is just a beautiful gloss um so i think they're typical color pop shadows um i think you would be really happy with the palette um, if you like the tones and I will check back in at the end and we can see how it um, held up so check my So check my Instagram for pictures, but I will see you guys later.